Recently, I was scrolling through my Facebook news feed and I saw a meme that really caught me off guard. I read it and then I read it again and, and I realized that a lot of people responded to it and, and their responses were positive and they shared a lot of personal stories and I read the meme again to make sure I got it and I thought, no, this is just wrong. What the meme said was this, our best growth is a result of suffering. Let me say that again. Our best growth is a result of suffering. And I thought, whoa, that's like taking no pain, no gain and putting it on steroids. I want to talk about our growth and how we grow today. And as I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So let's think about this. When a child is born, there has to be trauma for the child. That child is being pushed out of its mother's womb where it was safe and warm and comfortable and nourished and into a cold and sterile delivery room where it's then handled by all kinds of people and has sensations that it doesn't recognize and then has to feed itself and breathe and all these new things. So yeah, that has to be rough. It's a good thing we don't remember that. So I can see that thinking about something like that, you could say that growth starts with pain, with suffering, with something like that. And it is true that in the last 10 years, psychologists have really been studying something that's now called post-traumatic growth. We used to think that when someone had a traumatic event in their life, that it, it really just damaged them, that, that they were never really quite their self, that they had diminished capacity. But what we know today is that even after an experience of trauma, people still keep growing we grow and become more and and yes we may have that PTSD or traumatic memory or whatever it is but it isn't that that ends our life that we grow around that some people are able to grow through that but there's still growth my point is that growth is how we're oriented growth is part of our programming we are oriented as human beings to grow we grow through all kinds of circumstances. You know, a child grows from childhood to adolescence to young adulthood, and we keep growing through adulthood. It's what we do. Think about it. You know, a child grows, grows out of their clothes, grows out of their toys, they become more, and that growth isn't about pain or suffering. Yes, pain and suffering can come into our lives. But even when there is pain and suffering, we grow. I came to understand the importance of looking at growth much more broadly whenever I was a young adult. I went away for a weekend for a, a retreat for the college community where I was attending school. So there were some people my age, like 19, 20 year olds, and there were some older people in the, from the community, like 35, 40 year olds, all together on this retreat. And I remember being out probably on the Saturday afternoon of that weekend, walking with a woman who was 35 or 40, and we were talking, and, and I don't really remember a lot of the retreat, but I remember this conversation. I had gotten this notion that the only way for me to become the person I really was meant to be, my best self, that I had to radically strip away everything that wasn't of me. I had to get rid of all the false self and that it was going to take diligence and hard work. And I was saying that I was willing to do whatever was necessary and suffer through it all so that I could be the person God created me to be. And I must have really been on a roll because this woman stopped, grabbed me by the shoulders and looked me in the eye and said, growth doesn't require suffering. Growth doesn't require pain. And she went on to say, look at what we're doing right now. Look at where we are. 
And, and she explained, I don't know if this is true for you, but I'm inspired being out in the country, looking at nature, seeing things in a different way on this retreat. I am growing. I'm growing through this conversation. I'm growing through all these interactions. I'm growing and it doesn't hurt me. It's simply what I'm doing. And I realized how true that was, that our growing experiences are our ordinary life experiences. It's what happens to us. It's what we do naturally. Yes, when we experience difficult times in life, it's important for us to remember that we can grow. We can grow despite them. We can grow through them. And they may cause us to look at life in new ways, so we may grow because of them. But we're going to grow. That's in our nature. Now, some people get confused about growth and they're not sure what it means for them. And if that's true for you, maybe it would be good to reach out and we can talk about spiritual direction because possibly that's a spiritual direction kind of topic for you to understand where your growth is in life. And I'm happy to do that. But I think what's really important is to remember that who we are as people is that we are oriented to growth. We grow throughout our lives, and that's the nature of the human spirit. The human spirit is about us growing, thriving, becoming more, and reaching to heights that we hadn't imagined when we first began. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share the video with others, make some comments about your own experience of growth, and know that I really appreciate the time you spend with these videos on spirituality beyond borders. Have a really great day.